It's not a pyramid scheme, it's a cone. Hi, I'm Paul. And I'm Dan. And this is his. And his. Top 5 PlayStation Plus games that we received for free. free. How long have you been on PS Plus for? How long have I been on? Mm -hmm. Since September 2013, I think. Mm. I think I joined That's in. When I, got my PlayStation I didn't 4. join right at the very start. I think it was 2000 and end of 2011. Right. Um, I think the first batch of games I got was Infamous. Infamous was in the, right, okay. in the bunch. PS3. This is before the V2 and the PS4 and everything. So you've got um, a lot more to choose from. Right? Uh, my PS3 download list is like, it's over a thousand. Like, and most of them are just mm. PS Plus stuff. Like, it's, it's been good and it's worth it. Yeah, We're not sponsored by yeah, PS yeah. Plus, no, but we'd like to be. You get some pretty good games as well. Yeah. Half the, half the <clears> games that people complain about, I like. So. I know, that's the thing. If you enjoy the game, if you enjoy games, like in general, yeah. most of them it, are good. Yeah. If you just, if you Instant like, game collection. Say that, yeah. To be fair, I can see where people come from because, like, if you're only well, into like you shooters and shit, stuff, like, there was a period where it was just pure yeah, shite for ages. Yeah. Like, I've got no problem with indie titles, but when it's like pure indie titles that like you've just not even ever heard of. And no platinum with them. Yeah. Right. yeah what's, what's, the point? what's the point? So let's just get straight into it. My number five is Catherine. Ooh. Received yeah. in 2012? Late 2012? Yo, 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 yo. Yo, yo, give the count in the sheep. One, two, two three, three, got sucked in my sheets. sheets. Catherine is a really weird. Yeah. Incredible game. Really weird title. It's sort of like it starts off as this sort of choose your own adventure anime. Yeah. Sort of. It's 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 quite uh, it's almost cinematic, but not in the sort of cinema sense. And like mm. it's just like an anime. Yeah. But it's also a puzzle. Yeah, game. But then it turns into a puzzle game halfway through, yeah. where you have to like slide. It's based off it's a, it's based off an arcade game. Isn't yeah. It? Rapunzel. Um, Rapunzel. Yeah. Uh, where you basically slide blocks That's to like, like make your way up a tower. Puzzles part of yeah. it. Yeah. And Rapunzel's yeah. actually in the game. Yeah. It's a fun fact. Basically, have like a little land in area, don't you? Where you can go yeah. the, the stray sheep, like a little bar, and you have to wander around and talk to people and learn the characters and stuff. It's, it's a you, solid title. Yeah, yeah, and like depending on who you like, who you speak to about to what and the advice you give them and stuff. Like you can save the life. And, yeah. yeah. Um, so it is solid. Yeah, like, Choose your own adventure, but it's mixed. How many like endings are there? Fourteen. Yeah. So, like so there's. I don't want to give any, any spoilers, no, but there's like you have a karma system, so there's bad, mm -hmm. neutral, good. So you can finish the game on bad with one end and bad with the second end and bad with the third end yeah. and neutral with the fit and so yeah, on and so yeah, forth. It's, it's just there's so many. My number five is Dust and Dust. Oh, oh <laughs> and literally the only reason I put this on is because it was my first platinum trophy and when I, I got mm. the first got PlayStation Plus when I was a poor student and I couldn't really afford to buy games so I would just play the free ones I get every week on every month on PlayStation Plus. Dust was and uh, Dust was one of the it was it was okay RPG. I mean the story yeah, a bit lackluster the but it's a game. It was that it's an easy tale or like do you mean like <laughs> It, it, that widget did me head in at first, like the voice and stuff, but you know, there, there was some good to parts. Fair, it was good, it was some good, of the side quests were really good and the mechanics were good, yeah, it was okay. Enzyme was sh shit, but <laughs> like, yeah, it's, it's just got a little little place there for me. My second, my number four, or my second one, number four. Uh, number four is a Machinarium, a fun little point and click adventure, which I've been nagging you to play for ages now. I think I got it in 2013. Oh no, it was actually, it was November 2012. I think it was, I remember, because I was in college. Machinarium. So basically, you just, it's a point and click adventure. So it's this really stylized, sort of a hand drawn world where you control a robot who's like try, just trying to save his girlfriend's robot. And it's just so simple and light hearted. Like the, the soundtrack's great. incredible for it. You basically enter this massive like robot sort of city, the citadel like enclosed area, and you just make your way through the citadel, like doing little puzzles. And I love puzzles. It's just so quirky. It's proper Schaeferish, but mm. it's, oh, it's, lo favorite. it's lovely. It took me about a week to work out. It's not, it's not terribly difficult, but you know, and no platinum, but 100% just for the charm. Yeah. I was yeah. like, oh, lovely game. Those are great games where like you don't need an incentive to like yeah. get like to finish it to just get like the platinum. It's just it's a solid just title, to know so you just and I still listen to the soundtrack now. If you after a song to listen from the soundtrack, I recommend the sea. Lovely little zen song if you just like want to catch your breath, just take a minute and just listen to the sea, not the actual sea, the song, the sea. 
The song's called The Sea. My number four <laughs> is <laughs> my number four is Guaca Melee Super Turbo Solid Championship game. Edition. Correct. Uh, so yeah. Again, just a great game. Um, platformer, sort of a uh, no, yeah. not beat 'em up. Like no, no, it's more just like a side scroll. Yeah, just like sad. Yeah. Um, it's a screen beat 'em up sort of like where. It kind of castle uh, Metroidvania, Metroidvania style. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Um, yeah, it's just good. So, like uh, I've a lot of the stuff just cracked me up. All the kind of uh, in jokes and like uh, ethnic jokes in it, like kind oh, of God, like into so stuff. Funny. It was just like cleverly written and yeah. stuff. I just thought it was really funny. Another killer soundtrack. Do you yeah, remember the soundtrack? It, it, oh, do I remember the soundtrack? This just it reminds me of literally just being like in, again in university, just in my room, like on party chat with you, and like, both of us were playing it at the same time, and we'd just both be going la 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 la. la, 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 la. Yeah. It's just the whole, the entire game's like mariachi. Yeah. Uh, and there's two worlds. So there's like there's like the light world and the dark world. And like the light world, oh, like amazing. like it sounds like a proper mariachi band, yeah. it? and then like you go underground, it's like sort of technical mariachi, yeah. so it's a bit darker. It's proper. It's proper good yeah, game. It's, it's, Solid it's, it's, title. It's quirky. Yeah. Game. My number three, these are all PS3 games, I'm sure. <clears throat> my number three, which I don't know why it's my number three, but I'll leave it there anyway because that's the way I put it, was Hotline Miami. Ooh. Wanted to play this game anyway before it became free on PS, PS Plus. I saw someone playing it on PC once in college, I was like, what? That looks interesting. It reminds me of, there's a really old game, I always say this, on the PS1's Net Euros sort of catalogue oh, yeah. of games, and I always forget the name of it and I've forgotten it now. I'll edit it and post you it. It's, it. It's called... Guy. I think, but anyway, it's it's same sort of game where you, I don't even know what it's about because Net Euros was just sort of like they were indie games back in the day, weren't they? Like it was just people messing around with the PS One's hardware and seeing what they could come you up are with. You're still a coward guy. Yeah, you are still a coward guy. That's definitely not a thing. But look up. Um, What's that called? Terra. Terra Incognita. It, look yeah. up Terra Incognita and just watch the the opening cutscene for it. You it's are the most, still a coward it's guy. It's the most. Oh, it's the worst translated <laughs> game ever. <laughs> It's like two guys, one guy is like, they've just arrived on a ship and like, one guy's like, I'm going to get the treasure, long yeah. story short. And <laughs> well, he's like, well, and he's like, can I, can I, yeah, yeah, he's like, can I stay here on the boat? And he just turns to him and goes, you are still, still a, a coward, coward guy. <laughs> it's the best line ever, it's proper like, we, what's the, like, classic one? All your base are belong to us, like, that yeah, sort yeah. of, just bad transit. But anyway, Hotline Miami, it's just an incredible game. The soundtrack, it, oh, it's absolutely killer. Solid uh, difficulty, like, factor to it. Oh, like, it's one of them games where you start off and you just keep dying, 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 but then it's you, quick, then you'll do it and you'll be like, oh my god, I can't actually do this. And you've started sussing out guards, patterns, and it's just, it's one of my favourite games of all time. And I actually platinum Hotline Miami. It took me a solid month of just watching people beat them, beat them all with like the highest rank and all the levels. Uh, and it's, it's so tough, yeah. but it's one of my favourites. My number three is Rocket League. <laughs> Pure, again, purely because these I've kind of gone out in my list. I've kind of gone for favorites as opposed to what I think's like a ge like generally like would recommend. Like I think mm -hmm. it's like a, a better game. I've kind of gone for just stuff that's like more like personal for me. Again, just Rocket League just reminds us all of reminds us all reminds me of all of us. It does remind me of all. Yeah, it just reminds me of all of us playing it, just oh, spamming, spamming. Um, no problem. No problem. <laughs> that's it. Oh, God. We just used. We weren't even that. We weren't that good. But like, no, when we, we played we, online. As soon as like we, we figured out that someone was shit. This is back like just, when it fit, when it like it launched. So it oh was, yeah, like, no like, DLC, yeah, no, no extra game mode. No one or anything was like, like no one was like amazing at it yet yeah. or anything like that. So we were we were okay. Like we, we used to win quite often. Like mm -hmm. and, oh, it was just. Just like, and whenever we'd score a goal, goal, all of us are just spammed as like no a problem. in game <laughs> chat, like no problem, no problem, no problem. And like, then we um, get scored against us and they'd like say no, oh, yeah. it's just so funny. What, what you call them? Like the shortcuts? I have no idea. But uh, yeah, literally all of us. Or it wouldn't even be after a goal or sometimes. Like if, if you miss the shot, no problem. Or if someone <laughs> says anything, just no problem. Everyone no problem. Is just, everyone <clears> just say anything else off. except no problem. Uh, Rocket so League funny. was fun. Again, yeah. good mechanics. But my number two, which I'm sure is on Dan's list as well. Yeah. Fury. Is, yeah. is it your number two as yeah. well? Yeah. Are, are you on number two? Yeah. I mean, as well, join. Yeah, okay, join to it. Join to it. Join to it. Fiori, where did that come from? July 2016, yeah. sat there, what can we play oh, with this game? So Saw this little like trailer for this PS Plus game called Fiori, it was like, a Fiori game looks pretty interesting. Yeah. Sort of, it looked like it had a proper solid story, like this really stylized sort of 80s neon yeah. sort of. Oh my God, that's 
swords and that sort of like digital soundtrack. I was like, this looks interesting. Mm -hmm. I'll play it. Little did I know it turned out to be one of my favorite, favorite games, games of all time. Let alone like PS Plus titles. Like, I think we, we were gonna do a review on yeah, it. Yeah, we never got around to it. We might still get around to it. Maybe. Yeah. When, when the hype started, though, yeah. when no one knows about it. You bet. Um, no one out. No one knows about it. I I, I tried to kickstart a campaign for a little like fucking rider. Oh yeah. Figure and it got like two backers. Yeah. <laughs> They needed 30 grand to start. It was like, this isn't get back. But it's a shame. That's been cool. Yeah, it would have been sick. Yeah. Like one of my favorite it's games. It's like. solid mechanics. Like, it's so tight. Like, I mean, I don't think I've really ever had a glitch out on me or anything. Like, maybe a couple times. The only times I've ever had a glitch out, and it wasn't really a glitch, is sometimes when you get knocked down. Basically, you have, like, three lives. It takes a while for you to get back up. If you get, yeah, if you get knocked down, sometimes you just stay still. But if you mm -hmm. just wiggle a stick, he gets back up. Like, you just sussed yeah. that out. But yeah, solid game. It, how do you even describe it? It's like a top-down arena boss battle game. Not all top-down. So, it's the one. I don't know. Like, no spoilers. Um, on that. But. Most of them are though. Yeah, you're right. Um, yeah, it's just put boss battles. So, then, sort of in the vein of Titan Souls, but more. If pure, um, if just between each boss, you just walk. Yeah. And, oh yeah, you have to look at these in, in between and, sections and like listen to like little things, little bits and bobs. Which is like piece it's so good because you you spend so long on a boss like trying to figure out the patterns, and mm -hmm. the bosses have like six, seven stages at some point. Yeah. So you might get like three game. stages in and then you, you're fighting them in a different phase that you haven't even seen before. So then you die on that phase and then you've got to get back through. It's it's a pro you have to be really persistent yeah. and patient with it. Yeah. But as soon as you've sussed out the patterns, you can I mean we can fly through it now. I've got the speed run trophy and all that for it, which is less than an hour. Fuel is, is, is Yeah, I don't think I'll ever get that because it's just those S -ranks. so hard. The highest rank and the highest difficulty. Yeah. Tough game. It is tough. But solid game. And yeah, the soundtrack. No, oh, I listen to the soundtrack cool. just riding the bike because it's just it's so energetic and gets you going. But then you have like these moments of like these intervals where it sort of goes nice and reflective and mm -hmm. you just like Pokemon. soak it all in. Pokemon Go came out like around the same time. I remember like in the day as well, like we'd, we'd like go out and just play Pokemon Go all day and stuff. But we'd have the Fury soundtrack on and yeah. then we'd go home and then play Fury. <laughs> it was just good summer. Yeah, what really a, it was, summer. was a good summer. Unemployed, but like, Solid. that's probably why I enjoyed it so much. I don't know where. All right, um, I, it's so hard to do a list of five, so I've done mm. honorable mentions. I'm not going to go into too much detail. I've got but a few my honorable mentions are Gravity Rush, really good game. When I first got my Vita, I think it was like the in the first couple of months it came to PS Plus, so it was a nice little addition. Mm -hmm. Solid game. Uh, Demon Souls. Probably would have bought that anyway, because um, yeah, yeah, as you know, big we're big, fan. big Souls fans, but it was just a bonus to go for nothing. Uh, Remember Me, which is a, I th everyone everyone says it's a, it's a shit game. I really like it. It sort of reminds me of Mirror's Edge. It's a, it's a beat em up, so you're just running through. It's not special, but there has these really interesting like time mechanics halfway through. So you basically slip into memories, and you have to like sort of Sherlock, sort of move the memory right, around okay. to figure out different things. So like there's a car crash, and you have to figure out what caused it. Mm -hmm. So you're like picking up different items to see like, oh, a cigar fell and then it set the car on fire and stuff like that. It's a really interesting game and yeah, that's not all mentioned, Ether 1. Oh, Stupid it game. Is. It was so, it's so good. So challenge. nice little uh, yeah, sort of adventure sad. game where you just, you just walk around. There's well, no action. Yeah, like an exploration, exploration sort of. game. You're just sort of yeah. figuring out, like, you just, I think, I don't want to spoil it actually because that's a big spoiler, but basically you're in a town and you've just got to work out what's going on basically. Mm. But it was glitchy as fuck and really yeah, it needed was. fixing. It finally got patched and I went back and got the platinum, but my God, that lift. I had a lift yeah, yeah. that was just I jammed and I was like, I'm pulling the lever. You were like, what was the save? And you were just stuck. Yeah. So and then there was times where you just fall through the map and then it'd also <laughs> save. So you all, you'd be like stuck in the floor. Like, oh. um, I mean, what, what did you even say? My number one. Oh, 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 oh you wanted your honorable mentions, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right, I've got Transformers Devastation. <laughs> Thingy, funny games. Reminds me of moving into Fair the new moving, house. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. We're all playing it on party chat. Yeah. Party chat in the same house. I know, yeah, what we like. <laughs> yeah, great game, solid game. Mm -hmm. Too much to plan, too hard to plan, I think. Yeah. Um, not into Transformers that much. Yeah. Ollie Ollie 2. Ah, I forgot about that. That's a really um, good game, actually. Really good indie game. Yeah, again, just kind of like arcade-ish style. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know how to explain side it. Really. Scrolling yeah, it's just side scrolling game. Yeah, it's just levels. Reminds me of old um, Flash games that you'd play yeah, like on mini-clip yeah, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, precisely like that, like that yeah. Uh, with little yeah. challenges and, yeah. again, another solid platinum. Yeah, good game. Um, Rogue Legacy. <sighs> Hard game. Like, um, Again, that was in my phase of not being able to afford games, so it was free, so literally... I give you my honourable mention for fucking hardest platinum that you've got. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, uh, Actually, you spent the time. It was, to... it, 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 was, it was hard, like, yeah. I just beat the base game, I think. I had nothing then, else to play, so... Yeah, actually, I, I just beat the base game. I remember going down to his in Leeds, and he was playing it. I was like, fucking hell, like, I'm not compared to, like, the skill level you have for this game. Like, all the secret bosses never written without dying. Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it, like, I thought it was a solid title, yeah. and... Uh, 
Injustice, Gods and Monsters. Oh shit! Can't wait for the second one. It looks so good. That was another one yeah. that we like. We just chilling your house yeah, before yeah, you moved. Totally out. Oh, it was like in the summer or something. Yeah. Two summers ago. I, I got good at that. Like I was just yeah. like, because everyone like oh, normally rips Aquaman. Like just, <laughs> oh shit! I decided so to do Aquaman. Get, yeah, to get good at fucking Aquaman and like I'd have me little tag like on, when I was playing online and stuff. Just everything was just Aquaman. Like and I'd always go Aquaman. I, I'd always go Superman. They always. I remember there was one. I know. I was telling you it was Richard. Oh, we yeah, went with yeah. Richard going through it as well. I remember me and Richard playing one night and we must have been, must have been all three o'clock in the morning. Just re replaying, replaying, and it keeps a tally of who's winning. Must have been about 51. And I'd just go yeah. Superman and do the fucking jump oh, back yeah. laser, jump back laser, jump back, and then that fucking super punch really. <laughs> Sends him right round. Yeah, Only yeah, takes him up the yeah, then yeah. like fucking comes down. So good, 50 well, And then he finally beat me once. He was like, right, I win. I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> best, uh, best thing about that game, if you win as Superman and you're out and you're on the fucking. Oh game. my god! <laughs> help! <laughs> it's so funny. He comes over. He's just like, like he's just like buff. The fucking and then he just says help! Help! help. He flies back down to earth. <laughs> oh. Solid game. Yeah, good game. Uh, I mean, number one, uh, Towerfall Ascension. Really? Yeah. I don't think, I, like, this is purely nostalgia, mm -hmm. this, because, like, years ago when it first came out, Richard had a house in Edinburgh, in Edinburgh, in Egbeth, mm -hmm. uh, which is a part of Liverpool, and we used to go around every Friday night and just, like, play games and shit, we played Daisy and stuff. And when Towerfall Ascension came out, again, it was, like, summer 2014, I think it was. Three years ago now, that's so long ago, oh my god. Um, and, and we just sit up all night playing it. I remember one, because we wanted to do a co op and you do it versus it's me. It's gonna be earlier than that, Telephone Ascension. So I don't have it, and I'm, swear, I'm sure I got it. Uh, it was, it was September. August 2014. Oh, you didn't have a PS4. You didn't get a PS4 until later on, didn't you? Absolutely, I get my PS4 in you got 2014 then. Yeah. Um, so go back earlier, September 2014, not yeah. 13. That's when I got PlayStation. Anyway, where was I up to? Oh yeah, and then we were like playing co-op, and then it, it, that's again, again a solid game. Like it's just a just a screen, and you have little arrow, you have three archers, and you get three out of four archers, and you get like three arrows. And you get power ups to get more more uh, arrows and armor and shields and shit like that, uh, and you just fight creatures uh, when they come on the screen and does it in waves and at the end of the waves you'll fight the boss and then you beat that level but there were these things called golden skulls which you have to beat the level without dying under a certain time or you know s stuff like that and we were just so determined to get all the skulls and we're, to this day we're only missing one golden skull and it got Should to the point where it, I know it got to the point where we were going out like like on a night out and we get back at five in the morning and the sun was coming up it was like middle of August and we just play like, just play Southall Ascension it was like so hot so we just sat on the couch with just our fucking Boxies on, just trying to play, <laughs> just fucking bevy, like trying to get these fucking golden skulls. Oh, it was just such a good time. And like, even when there was more people there, we played the versus mode and we'd like <clears throat> jump around and uh, I've, I've made it with each other. It was just such a laugh, such a good game. Probably a game I wouldn't have picked up either if it wouldn't have been for, for, uh, for PS Plus. So yeah, it's my number one. My number one is, of course, <laughs> Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Another one there. I'm Insanely jealous of. Uh, yeah, again, I was poor students, I had no other games to play. Like, uh, So, yeah, I used to just play it every day. And, like, the, I just got cravings for it because I was like, obviously, I started off like really, really shit at the game cause, and it's hard and like you don't really unlock better like weapons and stuff unless you like play the game and if you get lucky, you find stuff, you unlock it and if you up the game. Yeah. But, yeah, hard game, really hard game. You have to really um, commit yourself to that game. Yeah, to be good um, I, I got good at that as well and just <clears> played it religiously and over and over again. It got to, kind of got to the point where I was like, I only need like a few more items to find before I can like actually just platinum the game because I, I beat it, I, I got uh, un unlocked the secret boss, yeah. Mega Satan or whatever it's called. And wasn't there a point where it glitched on you and you and Oh my god, yeah, that, that's right, right, so I gave away, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it was so funny. I oh, can't, can't remember exactly what it was, but basically, so I, I, I met all the requirements uh, to get a trophy and I was like, right, okay, beat, beat, beat the boss or whatever it was. And I'm like, watch, watch the ending clip. And I'm like, like, it's not popping. And I'm like, oh my God, it's not popping. I was like, hmm, maybe if I unlock another trophy, it might like force it into popping stuff. So like, I just carried on playing and I, I, got, I can't remember what the next trophy was. I get the next trophy and it's not popping. And I'm like, oh my God, seriously. <laughs> the I've put in like so much effort and I'm not even getting the fucking trophy for it. I was so, cause I, this happened for ages. I, I left it for quite a while actually. And then like, obviously I had nothing else to play. So 
kind of went back on it and like trying everything I can, trying mm -hmm. to get it to pop. No, it's not happening. So I'm just like, oh fuck it, I'm just playing it for the sake of playing it now. Richard comes round. I think me, you, and Richard were in oh, line, yeah. and he's like, uh, like I was talking about it because I really like the game. He's like, can I have a go? And I was like, yeah. So literally, he picks up, he picks up the controller <laughs> and he goes to the main screen and he presses X and he goes. Fuck. Like I got two tro <clears throat> like I was like, dude, seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> Are you magic? Like seriously. I was like, never leave the again. Asian touch. I was like, never leave again. You're about like if, if we've never got a trophy that needs popping, just hand your controller to Richard, he'll make it pop. It's but like trophy maybe Jesus. Can make me pull he doesn't even like trophies. Pop. But then yeah, I have more incentive to play it again then. Mm -hmm. So that got, I've got into it and then popped them though. Yeah. Well I actually like unlocked it's everything and it, files, it didn't, didn't, yeah. Um I went online and they said like literally if you just back up your save, delete your save file and then like reload. It and it, it, it said it won't work the first time, but if you do it the second time, it will. And I was like, I've been fooled before <laughs> for Pokemon Yellow, where but as, as a young, as a young child, child, as a young child, going uh, fucking super cheats. I go on like how to get all the Pokemon. <laughs> Such a naive child. If you press these <laughs> buttons on the main screen, it'll ask you if you want to delete your save file. Select no, do it again. Select yes, you will start the new game with all 151 Pokemon. You don't. I didn't. So I was like, I've been fooled before, but I tried it anyway, and it didn't work the first time. I did it the second time, and boop. Lonely actually hard. did. <laughs> bling, 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 platinum. Well, these have been our top five PlayStation Plus games top that we've gotten for five. free over the years. I can't believe I went on the list actually before this video to see what ones have actually came out, and there's been a lot. There's so many. Mm -hmm. It's so worth it for your money. I know now you have to get it to, to play online, but mm -hmm. back in the PS3 days, like I'm so glad I paid for it because there's some games that I've gotten that it, I would never have even picked up and I played them and thought, fuck, that was so title. I know I mentioned I haven't selected like ones I think are like the best, like uh, I, I regard as like the best, but like the most like I, I enjoyed. But I've also like, left off games that I've previously purchased before they've actually become available because this happens to me a lot. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I, I always get mugged off on things, so <laughs> so like I'll buy a game Never. and then a month, like literally the next month, it's free on PlayStation Plus, yeah. and it's happened to me so many times. I decided to sleep them off, like Broken Age, Grim Fandango, oh, yeah, Abe's Odyssey, uh, New and Tasty. Yeah. Uh, what else? Oh God, there's more. So leave a little comment down in the comment section yes, below. Please. What was your favorite PS Plus game of all time? Have you only just got PS Plus and jealous that there's been so many, or have you had it since the very start? I think if you had it from the very start, you actually got like a little certificate in the post uh, with all it's your cool. trophies you've earned since you've been part of it, stuff like that. I'm so glad that I don't have that. But yeah, this has been our top five, his top five, and his top five, top five by two. It's two by five. It's five by two. It's a pyramid it's scheme. Ten. Yeah. Goodbye. It's not a pyramid scheme. Come. Goodbye.